Okay, so today is time to plant the onions. There they are. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to separate them. And so what I did is I raked off the top layer and then I punched some holes. See the holes? Couldn't use anything. I used this Sharpie. Oh, out. Get out. 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 Okay. Someone left the gate open. All right. So you can see I put down some of my magic dust. And then I'm going to show you how we separate them. Here's the magic dust. It's pretty easy. So you can see, I have them all labeled because I have three different varieties here. Then I'm going to put wood stakes at the end of each row. So let's see what we got here. And this is the Patterson. Let's see if I can do this one handed. So we're going to take them out. It's super healthy. And then this is how you separate them. You put them in a little bowl of water and gently wash off all the soil. And then they come right apart. And then what I'll do, let's see if I can get one tangled free here. Right here. And let's see. Ugh. Down they go into the hole. Oh, I might want to make the holes a little bigger. And then boom, we're done. And that's it. And then someone's mowing their lawn right now, and there's my fat finger. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's gonna take a while, but um, I should have all these in the ground and let the onion growing commence. So the holes weren't quite big enough. So what I'm doing is digging in the hole I made which you know is a good indicator of where I need to go and then this way see that the roots fit in there all nicely and boom down she goes you're gonna hear a lot of things you know oh don't plant too deep a lot of tricks and trades well I gotta tell you I just plot these in the ground like this Keep them well watered, get soil, and I've been doing this for years, and I get big, beautiful yellow onions. As a matter of fact, um, I got over 50 pounds last year. So I'm doing something right. Okay. Got a whole bunch more to do. Okay, so I got all the Pattersons in. So one last um, tidbit of information, and I'll let this go because I still got all those to do. Um, let's see. Oh, you want to, uh, preferably do it on a cool, cloudy day, which I am, which is perfect. You can see they're all laying down right now, but they're going to be perfectly fine. And then water them in. They're real resilient. I've had them freezes and, and I forgot to harden them off once. Um, let's see. Oh, I, uh, planted them on a really hot day and they all sprung back, but it's best not to have that stress on them. If you don't have to and let's see it's gonna be perfect because the weather um, is gonna be cool and rainy which is gonna be ideal for these onions with no freezing temperatures um, it froze last night and the asparagus got it again so yes Kenny Wilson I will be covering them up next year I mean the damn things pop up in the snow I didn't think that a, a light freeze would hurt him, but it did. Okay, so that's it. So I got to get the rest in. Until next time, this is Gardening with Tim.